Don't you dare be sour. Clap for the greatest thing going and feel the power. One of the most entertaining and successful teams in WWE, the New Day. Enough with these guys already. It's the New Day. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the New Day from Tampa, Florida. Weighing in at 285 pounds, Big E. Byron, I thought you didn't eat carbs. Well, I make an exception for the New Day. Get it? Ah, New Day Rocks. Come on, Corey. New Day Rocks. You're not clapping. Nor will I ever. Big E's hips don't lie, man. Ha <laughs> ha. Take a look at an athlete who exists on a level unto himself. Seth Rollins is a fighter, a survivor, and he is on a quest for greatness. And the WWE Universe is singing his praises. And his opponent from Davenport, Iowa, weighing in. He's held the Intercontinental, the U.S., the WWE, and the Universal titles each on multiple occasions. Truly one of the greats of the era. Well, I certainly hope this gentleman brought his heavy artillery tonight. Otherwise, Big E is going to beat his ass. Or Derriere. Seth freaking Rollins set for one-on-one -on -one competition here tonight. An eclectic superstar, but also perhaps one of the most confident superstars in WWE. And whether you're singing his song or can't stand his face, you have to admit Seth has all the reason in the world to be as confident as he is. Seth freaking Rollins is the dictionary definition of a well-rounded competitor. Definitely hard to deny that, Corey. Rollins will say anything, but he can do everything. And staring him down. And into the count. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. He couldn't make much of that pin attempt. Setting up neck breaker position. Ah. Bang! Just like that, Big E finds a counter. Rollins believes a lot of his own hype, but the hype is certainly warranted. What does it take to topple the self-proclaimed visionary? You need to be on your game. For all his bravado, Seth Rollins absolutely has the skills to back it up, and it is crucial that you meet him at his level. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Ow! Ooh, stinging kick. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, God, that hurt. Able to elude it. Oh, a jumping knee strike. Lights out. Biggie on the wrong end of things there. Yeah, Rollins not allowing himself to be held down. Kicks to the face. Oh, man. Good grief. Turn your lights out. And with an onslaught of strikes like that, it's clear they have nothing but punishment on their mind. And this one might be headed ringside. Military press. Ooh. Big four. Ooh. Clubbing blows. Power 
perilous position to be in right now. There's no good way to land on the ring apron like that. The location has the least give out of the entire ring. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Quick thinking pays off. You foil that attempt. Stuck cold with a body block. Got him where he wants him. Up and Falcon Arrow. Big E able to avoid impact. What are you guys thinking? Obviously not about the ref's count, Cole. Military press! Ooh. He's turning the tables! Look at this. Snap suplex. And shoulders are down. Two count, digging, digging deep for the kick out. He's determined to keep this matchup going. He didn't need that. He thinks he has it. Referee breaks the count. Looks like a rope break. Did you see that? Propelled through the air. Oh, and Rollins. Here comes Seth. Slingley. Rollins in complete control. He has to be at his limit now. Yeah, this is not good. From the top, five stars. Rollins with that maneuver just proved he's as much of a... Seth Rollins wins. Here is your winner, Seth Freakin' Rollins! A very impressive victory for Seth Rollins. I can't get over this. Big E goes down in defeat. Now Big E's even more dangerous than ever because he's hungry for a win. We are about to hear the sinister siren song of Scarlet. It is a tune that has struck fear in the entire WWE Universe. One of the most dominant competitors in NXT history. TikTok Doomsday has arrived.
The time has come to fall and pray. The hype man putting his money where his mouth is. And his opponent from Columbia, South Carolina, weighing in at 205 pounds, Trick Williams. So much swagger. So much confidence. Williams sees himself as the next big thing. And he's not the only one who does. All that matters to Trick is success and staying at the top. But here's the thing. Trick has to prove he can do that on his own. Karrion Cross is certainly one dangerous individual. Cross claims his power is so great he controls the hands of... Off into the pin! Oh, somehow! He's not even close to being done yet. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Close line in the corner! <laughs> Knew a trick had coming. Jeez. Series of reversals. Karrion Cross boasts an impressive physique, but what's the best way for him to utilize that power tonight? Cross needs to mix that strength with ruthless precision by making targeted attacks. He can use all that muscle to debilitating effect and end his opponent's night quickly. Tackles ruthless. Trying to wrestle free their opponent's arm has the arm trapped. And a series of vicious stomps. You got to wonder if there's more animosity in this match than we previously thought. Would you look at this? She is removing the turnbuckle pad now. Here he goes for the win. And a kick out. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? And he'll leave the ring for this next stretch. <laughs> And he's able to reverse. Holy, meet the barricade. Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at his aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. And now gets tossed into the ring. Trick Williams trying to fire himself up. That's what they call me, the hot shot. He's lost some of his win now. And that'll show people what Williams is made of. Uh-oh. Harlem sidekick! And what's this manager looking for under the ring? She has no business down there. Oh, stop right to the hand. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Just a barrage of stops. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And Cross is being taken apart here. Trick showing that edge, that ruthlessness. Big elbow. Yeah, I think Trick's face might have taken the brunt of that one. One after another. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. I don't think people realize the amount of strength it takes to hurl someone like that. Vicious right forearm. Ankle lock. And a nice job getting to the ropes. Really had no choice. 
A uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Oh, man, he is fired up now. And countouts are legal, so hopefully this will be a short trip outside. Shot down low. Maybe that will set him up. Bang! Tagging this outside. This could be good. Oh, looking for the, the pump handle. Oh, slam. Oh, what distance. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. What a reversal by Trick. The referee continues the count, may call it soon. He'll take things into the ring. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. Oh, and he's back in, beating the count. Big to the gut. Uh-oh. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. Out of the ring. She has to mind the 10 count. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? Boom, running FTO plants him. Nicely done. Oh, strong knee connects. is now being sized up. Trick off the ropes. Nice neck breaker. Williams might just have it. On the ropes, referee breaks the count. Vicious right forearm. Knew what trick had coming. Carrying Cross looking to deliver. With the final career! And Williams is out. Cover! There's two! He kicks out somehow. He had to dig deep to break that pin. But can it be done again? How much is left after that? That act of defiance is only going to provoke Carrying Cross. These men have been giving each other such a beating. And you can see the toll of that beating taking effect with every movement. Striking at will. Oh! Dropping the elbow. Oh, this is just disrespectful. And an elbow drop, too. He may not be aware of the count. He's got to get back in. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. Neither competitor makes it back. We have a double count out. Time to party with the Prophets.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall on their way to the ring at a combined weight of 492 pounds. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. The Street Profits. These two dudes are legit. They're incredibly talented, they're tough, and they know how to have a good time that doesn't involve a bicycle museum. I even feel like dancing. Montez Ford is one of the best dressed guys in all of sports entertainment, and coming from me, that means something. Ford and Dawkins are still great athletes with tons of personality, but now they've made hurting people their business. And quite frankly, Byron, it's a necessary evolution for Dawkins and Ford. These two are ready to make the jump to the all-time greats of the tag division. If I could be so bold as to make a prediction, someone's gonna get smashed. And their opponents, first, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington, Ohio, weighing in at 285 pounds. Brutus Creed! A collegiate All-American wrestler and a Dusty Rhodes Classic winner. Not a single wasted movement from this guy. An absolute technician in the ring. I am looking forward to seeing what this kid can do in the ring. An extremely bright future for Brutus Creed. Hey, representing the Creed Brothers from Lexington. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Julius Creed! Championships and accolades as a collegiate wrestler and has continued that success in WWE. You're right, Corey. Julius Creed won the Dusty Rhodes Classic and the NXT Tag Titles alongside his brother. If you're looking for some good old-fashioned wrestling, then Julius Creed is about to give you some. We say it time and time again, but the Street Profits really are a team that love to have fun. They love to get the party going, have a good time. True, true, but don't get it twisted, Cole. Ford and Dawkins' high energy can translate into some absolute intensity when they really get going. And boy, we should expect them to get going in this one, guys. And when it comes to the Creeds, you almost take their incredible power for granted because you expect it to be there. But their impressive speed and agility have a major impact on their offense and their defense. Straight up, competitors who are as big and powerful as Julius and Brutus are not supposed to move like that. I mean, they can really do it all. Oh, what impact! Oh, that's gonna hurt. For the record, Saxton, you and I would never have that kind of chemistry. Hey, I'd be a great teammate. I've seen you trip over your own left foot. No thank you. Rear chin lock, and now just rapid fire punches. I think rage took over in that moment. Nothing but blind rage. Placing them into the corner. Oh, that'll flatten you right out. Completely steamrolled. Oof. He's got the answer for that one. Up on their shoulders, down in a hurry. Look at this incredible power. The Gorilla Press. Wow. Into a moonsault, what a combo. Knees up, got the knees up at the last second. Splash in the corner, wow. And Brutus might want to tap into his aggression after taking on that. 
And now that might be a confidence booster for the Street Profits. Enable to counter. Getting him into the corner. Shoulder block over and over in the corner. He thinks he has it. Stops the ref count before two. He's not letting fatigue set in or get the better of it. Focus on the leg in the corner. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. 110th Street Slam. Tag made. What do they have in mind here? Oh, big splash. Line in stereo. Catches a punch. Takedown. Oh, helicopter spin. This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. But this could also light a fire under you. Make you fight even harder. Put it in the corner now. That turns it around for Julius. Belly to belly suplex. aligned as they are, it's really incredible. Suplex! Body on body with force. Effectively using the knee. Shot after shot, Ugh, ruthless striking. And Creed did not look great after that. Ford working hard to deliver his best hit there. He got whipped into that corner. Boom, what a right. Gets him in position. This is not going to Look at the ups. Right. We got a cover. Kick out. Almost inhuman at this point. This precision teamwork. Just like that. Stomping down. Julius keeps him at bay. Suplex. Playing possum. Shoulders down. He kicks out with force. How on earth could he not keep him down for even one at this point? Oh, the back of the neck. What a lariat. He is just reeling from that offense. 
Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag suit here. He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Ouch. Look at this incredible power. The Gorilla Press. Wow. Beautiful moonsault. <laughs> wow. Did that just happen? Close line. What impact. Sent into the corner. Whipped across the ring into the turnbuckle. Followed up with the face buster. Tagged into action. Reverse. Nice Ooh. reverse fireman's drop. Is it enough? The cover! Some shock in the arena after that kick out. There he goes, right into the corner. You saw the original. How about the director's cut? As you can see, Tez loves to have fun. Got the tag. Got the tag. Looking for more damage here. Release back suplex. Ouch. Into the corner. This can't be good. Double big back body drop. And the kibosh being put on Montez Ford there. These two teams have gone to war, Cole. Of course they're going to wind up with a few battle scars. showing absolutely no fear of his opponent. Able to capitalize on Ford's mistake. Oh, what a punch. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. And this might not have a pleasant ending. Oh my, sent flying. 
setting up. Tagging his partner in now. What a punch! Looking wobbly in the corner. Ah, oh, flipping the script on it. Oh, he got him! Is he gonna lock this in? Unleashed might and force. I think. He needs to find an escape prop. Nice. Oh, I had that well scouted. Gotta hurt. Oh, carving across the face. And Montez finds the opportunity in the late going to apply pressure. It is time for Creed to tap into whatever he has left or else things might get worse for him. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. And tag, he did it. Let's go. Through the clothesline. Oh. Good. Jeez Louise! His opponent is just overwhelming him here. This is a very dangerous situation. There's the tag. These two superstars planning a double team maneuver. Dawkins could be looking to end this. For the win! Julius. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh my goodness, what a kick. After what we've seen so far, you cannot question the lengths these superstars are willing to go. The limits of physical exhaustion are being surpassed at this point. The WWE Universe is pouring more fuel on his fire right now. Waist lock. Able to counter. Look at fighting out from the opposition. Oh, DDT! Talk about devastation. Tag. factor. Big time move coming up. He deflects it right back. This superstar mulling their opponent. Look at this. From corner to corner. Suplex. Just punched him right in the middle. Enough already. Tag is registered. Vicious right forearm. Oh, what a strike to the back. Paying it right back with a reversal. He's been placed in the corner now. 
Uh-oh. Face first in the turnbuckle. You can't take much more of this. These are dire straits for him. He needs to be extra cautious now. What a raucous crowd here tonight. Counter by Brutus. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. Back of the neck getting worked over. Link, folks, Brutus Creed. Yeah, Brutus. <laughs> he scared the hell out of him. Down in a hurry. And Creed gets warded off. Double under. Into the neck breaker. Dawkins on the verge here. Plays target. Oh. Top rope, putting it all on the line. He's lining him up. Perched up top. Blockbuster connects. Will it be? Save. Uh -huh. Still got more fight here. He's heading up top. Thinking big. Here we go. Within inches of victory, only to have it snatched away. This match just keeps getting more and more exciting. Montez Ford realizing he's going to have to dial up something a little bigger than that. Blow to the abdomen gets them out of that. Yeah. Oh, my right. Yeah, that's an 
two behind him. Tagged into the action. into the corner and responds with a counter of their own. Splash in the corner. Wow. Caught the legs. Some more tandem offense in mind now. Opponent hoisted on the shoulders. Doomsday cannonball. That's won it for Julius before. Makes the cover. Wait, 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 wait. How can that be fair? Come on, ref. Keep these guys in check. you're ever likely to see. Well, we, yeah, we actually get a handshake. Shocking. <laughs> refreshing, I say. Hey, a refreshing show of sportsmanship and respect. I expect the respect to end right there. Let's get out. There's the battle. We've already seen the respect these superstars share for each other. Yeah, but that can always backfire. You can't always expect the same mutual respect from everyone you meet. You're not totally off base there, Corey. Uh-oh. From the apron, this isn't gonna be good! Off the apron to the floor hard! One, two, and he's able 
able to counter. Counters on counters. Technical prowess on display. Pendulum backbreaker. Tick tock. Heads out of the ring, but needs to be mindful of the referee's count here. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. High-risk territory for Zayn. Oh! From the top, double axe handle kicks. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Corey, in your eyes, what is Sami Zayn's biggest advantage in this matchup? No, oh, that's an easy one, Cole. Sami Zayn's a strategic mastermind. That'll give him a clear path to victory. All he has to do is properly execute them. Oh, targeting the arm. This has got to hurt. Trying to take away that grip, that range of motion on that end. Explode cover. Perfectly executed. And now Zayn has all gears in motion. Everything's coming together for Sammy. Executing beautifully on his master. Zayn with a takedown. Oh. The coach is How's he going to get out of this predicament? Elbows his way out. Dragon arm out of harm's way. Quick exchange of counters there. Zayn might be able to start mounting something here. He weathered the storm and wants to create a flurry of his own. And an impactful display of offense we just witnessed there. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Dragon off getting put to the test with that hit. Yeah, and Zayn's persistence is clearly paying off in this one. That was one of those power bombs. It's over all in a nice work. Here is your winner, Sami Zayn! While I admire the respect they showed earlier, it's obvious it doesn't always work out. Respect isn't always about winning, Corey. I don't know if I would expect Corey to know much about respect, Byron. This loss is going to be playing on repeat in their head for a while. Oh, with their display of respect earlier, I think they'll bounce back after tonight, Corey. Don't blink or you'll miss Nathan Frazier. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Jersey, the Channel Islands. Weighing in at 182 pounds, Nathan Nathan Frazier in a short time has already proven to be one of the best high flyers in all of WWE. And he's also proven he'll rattle everyone's cages and tell some hard hitting truths. I like this guy. Destruction is now imminent. 
and his opponent from Sheryl's for North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Brock Strowman! Fire in the eyes of Braun Strowman tonight. He's ready to attack. Unchecked rage and aggression. Expect the worst because the monster is about to be unleashed. WWE Universe, brace for impact. That's the bell, and guys, we know that once that bell rings, something just awakens in a superstar like Braun Strowman. Not that there really are any superstars like Braun Strowman. Absolutely, Michael. Strowman has a thirst for competition that is unparalleled, but it is really his lack of conscience in any shape or form that his opponents have to watch out for. He's so aggressive in that way. Strowman is any superstar's nightmare, both in and outside the ring. The punishment is over when he says it's over. And we'll see if he's ready for the aerial style of Nathan Frazier, a man whose high-flying abilities have earned him quite a reputation in the WWE already. I don't know if you can fully prepare for the style of Frazier, Saxton. He possesses such tremendous speed and agility. We've seen a lot of competitors struggle just to keep up. Slip play! Oh, man, they do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Knee strike connects. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Toss back into the ring. Vicious right forearm. Bolt on. Cover. Shoulders are down. Whoa. Only a one count before the kick out. This isn't even close to over. Down hard. If we've said it once, we've said it a hundred times before. When you're face to face with a big man, the best course of action is to do everything you can to chop down the tree trunk. Take out the base of the monster, and you'll be one step closer to taking them down. Nathan now has a leg up in this match. And you have to hand it to him. He has chopped down the tree trunk. Frazier up top. Oh, misses the mark. Able to interrupt the attack. Lands an elbow. And it looked like his opponent found an answer for Frazier's offense. Puts the boot to the midsection. Nathan retaliates. What power. What dominance. It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person and make a statement. Knee lift. Set up in the corner of the ring. standing shooting star. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. And Nathan got bottled up there. Makes him pay with a counter. And it's a long way down from there. Reversal, what a counter. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Not done yet. How about the headlock elbow drop? Frazier putting his talents to good use. If he hadn't made his name before this match, if this lands, it's over. Phoenix splash! Is that kind of decided for Nathan? Two. 
Wow, just barely making it out. I knew Strowman was a monster, but I know now just how indestructible he truly is. All of that work, all these big moves, and it still didn't earn the fall. We are seeing the win. Here he goes for the win. He breaks the ref's count before two. I don't know what more this superstar can do to put him away. They're thinking. And over the top into a rough landing. Taking it outside the ring now. Crash landing. Powerbomb. And he tosses him back in now. A show of disrespect from Frazier. Ooh. And the road break this one up. Great ring awareness there. Send a shock down your spine. And Frazier is fighting through the fatigue. Yeah, Frazier wants to take this match into even deeper waters. Oh, man, watch this. Freaking power. And we just saw some serious offense. Tossing them aside. Vicious right forearm. Strong punch. Oh! Oh, Brown Strowman just powering his opponent up into the power slam. That could be Frazier's demise. for the big man, Braun Strowman. This is what happens when you mess with the monster of all monsters. Yeah, you do not want to be on Braun's bad side. This dude is one of the most impressive young superstars we've seen. Braun Breaker on a meteoric rise in WWE. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Woodstock, Georgia. Weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun. Breaker broke down the damn door and has terrorized the competition during his young career.
power, technique, drive. On paper, all the attributes of a top talent. Yeah, Braun Breaker just seems destined for very big things. A true rock star entrance. There is an electric feeling in this arena. Undeniable energy to his arrival. Setting the stage for what's to come next. And his opponent from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. The king of strong style is ready for action. His renowned striking ability, his MMA background. If you come at the king, you best not miss. Especially when the king can hit back. This guy cannot let his focus get clouded against an opponent with the intensity of Braun Breaker. Shinsuke Nakamura lives by a code of honor, and he's taken it upon himself to strike down anyone who does anything less or stands in his way. That code of honor seems to revolve around psychologically and physically dismantling your opponent. Eccentric as he is, Nakamura definitely isn't playing around here. And then we have Braun Breaker, a hungry young superstar whose fast evolution has been stunning to watch. It seems like every time we see him, Braun is getting tougher, getting stronger, and earning more experience inside the ring. Yeah, it's a scary thought, but Breaker really is getting better all the time. You blink twice and he'll have found some way to up his game. He is quickly becoming one very dominant superstar. Bang! Knee right on target. Tremendous pressure being applied in this head crank. Crank in the head. Great wherewithal on the counter. set the clash with perhaps the most feared striker in all of WWE, Shinsuke Nakamura. Step one is be a moving target. Cover! Gets the shoulder up in one. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Caught with that sharp elbow. Wow, that one busted Braun up. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Shinsuke is perched and take off! His shoulders are down. A kick out to stay alive. He thought he had it. Finds the answer for Nakamura. Setting up for something here. Straight impact on the throat. Incoming! Out big time power bomb! You have to question what kind of malintent is behind a power bomb with that much force. Dominating 
shoulder tackle. He's looking a little weary now. Yeah, but you can't count anyone out yet. This match could still go either way. Vicious right forearm. All the way up. The big time. Is it enough here? He gets the shoulder up at two. Wow. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Incoming! Crash landing! Powerbomb! Crashing down like that, having the wind knocked out of you, never a good time for that to happen. He thinks he has it! And he manages to kick out in one. Starting to see the tolls of this match add up. Sharp elbow. Look at that insult to injury with that one. That's gonna fire you up with anger. Oh, and in the chest as well. Taking this to the floor. Reversal from Nakamura. Oh, God. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me. Tagged with a punch. His defenses have fallen, and soon he may, too. Maybe just stay down, man. You've done enough. Shinsuke's strong style will still give him a chance in this match. Yeah, but not a very good chance. When you have the skill, you flaunt it, and you make it hurt, too. Oh! As the arm bar stretch in. Oh. Focusing on the shoulder like that can be felt all the way to your fingertips. And he gets delivered back into the ring. The ref's count ain't stopping. The clock is ticking here. Oh, nails the midsection. Oh, and then the chest as well. Round we go and driven down in a side slam. Ron Breaker, his strength display. This is absolutely incredible. Power slam. Bad spot for Nakamura. There's two. No, he beats the count. Somehow, someway, Nakamura continues his battle. He will not stay down. And Breaker cannot believe that wasn't enough to put him away. Great way to disorient your opponent. Fist directly to the gut. Counters! Punch right in the head. Planted with a wicked DDT. Great counter. Breaker was waiting on that. Fire with a straight shot there. Answering back. Two Titans trading strikes. And the A 
establishing complete control. Punch! Able to sidestep it. Takedown! Oh, helicopter spin! This is ridiculous. This is insulting. This is entertaining. Focused on punishing the leg. Just tremendous raw power from Braun Breaker. Look at the military press and turns it into a power slam. Braun might have brought this to a close. Standing moonsault gets all of it. A fire has been lit inside of Breaker. And I bet Braun is looking to inflict more damage too. That was a good shot, and it looks like Nakamura might be bleeding. Nakamura reversing the momentum on him. Good chance for him to regain his wits. Oh, shot right to the kidney. Nakamura, inverted power slam. Nakamura striking with all the power and intensity left in his bones. The noise surging through this arena is... Kinshasa! Breaker doesn't know where he is. Cover! Two! Uh, that was a hard-fought victory there, and uh, opponent's pretty hurt, I think. Certainly hurt, but this superstar wants to inflict even more punishment. Now, come on, what's the point? A little reminder. What an egomaniac. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes looking to continue his dominance in WWE. Competing at his highest level, striving for the main event and the biggest prize. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making his way to the ring from Atlanta, Georgia. Weighing in at 220 pounds. The American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. The Rhodes name means he was born with this business in his blood. He's finally been able to tap into that, and we are now witnessing his full capabilities. Indeed, Corey, the American Nightmare has become a reality. For everything Rhodes has accomplished during his tenures in WWE, he's made his mark across the wrestling world. 
Every promotion he stepped foot in has been transformed for the better, thanks to the American Nightmare. But we all know he's got the best work ahead of him here in WWE. The dangerous Santos Escobar. From Lucha royalty to the emperor of Lucha Libre. And his opponents first, representing the LWO from Mexico City, Mexico. Weighing in at 200 pounds, Santos. Escobar is supremely skilled, taking his cues from Mexico's greatest lucha legends. Yeah, he's even battled those same legends and came out on top. The battle-tested leader of the LWO, Santos Escobar, knows he has what it takes. Santos Escobar continues to build his empire and he'll do anything to keep it intact. Escobar is determined to provide and protect his family. Beware, he's full of surprises. Mello don't miss, and Mello is hey. him. From Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210. I hate the pair to catchphrase, but Mello really is money. Multiple title reigns and main events to his name already. And this guy is destined to continue that success in all of WWE. Carmelo Hayes looks eager to get things done. Here we go, triple threat matchup. And in this one, you've got to keep an eye out for these superstars taking advantage of the stipulations. Ready to get this started, we see Cody Rhodes, Santos Escobar, and Carmelo Hayes. Every superstar for themselves in this matchup. Still, it's possible to see some temporary alliances, no matter how strange. It's about getting the odds in your favor. Chances are better against one opponent instead of two. All's fair in love and war, gentlemen. I saw nothing but effective offense. My uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. And an inverted atomic drop. What a bullseye. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much-needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no-disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. Brain Buster! You gotta wonder how much damage has been inflicted after a Brain Buster like that. Turning off right by our announce table. Flinged across the way. <laughs> I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. And he slides him back to the mat. Uh-oh, I, I think I know what this superstar is going for. A uh, muscle buster? No, goodness. And Hayes turning it around. Oh, run out of ring 
broadsided back to the mat. He's reaching under the ring for anything useful. Picking the leg. And we're gonna see it. He breaks up the hold. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. The universal signal for extreme. The kendo stick has entered the fray. Counters that. German suplex. Back straight into the post on the outside. Oh, Bulldog. One-handed. And Carmelo's attitude got put in check there. You can tell Cody was zeroed in on his opponent. <laughs> and he throws the opposition back into the ring. And now thrown back into the ring. Sure, he's pumping himself up, but he's also giving his opponent a chance to recover. And he heads out of the ring. No count outs, no worries. Evading offense. Knife edge chop. Oh, strong impact. He turns it around. Set up for the side rushing leg sweep. Vicious right forearm. Slides him back to the mat. Santos toying with his opponent a little bit. Down with a gourd buster. Uh oh. A rolling thunder. And a cross Ooh. flash. Taking off from the ropes. Oh, sharp knee. are sharp in this series of reversal. Kick to the mid uh oh Close line. What a way to get countered. The power on the Falcon era. Oh, pull up out of nowhere. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. Jarring him. Free reign to the outside with no count outs to worry about. 
And now he may be planning to turn this match into his very own home run derby. At this point, it might be too much for him to recover from, Cole. Determination in his eyes, and now a kendo stick in his hands. To the world face buster by Carmelo. As this match goes on, is there any self-doubt running through the minds of these competitors? You can't even allow that notion to creep into your head. You have come too far and fought too hard to grow weak now. Oh, man, inverted backbreaker. Swinging the elbow to halt the offense. Elbow will break that up. Counter from Rhodes. Oh, double boots. Oh, double DDT. And he gets set back into the ring. A little style from the Emperor of Lucha Libre. He's getting fired up now, really feeding. Cody looking to end this. Crossroads by Cody. Feeling like it's over for Santos. And set right into the corner. Drop in the elbow. Pinpointing the leg in the corner. And Hayes absorbing a lot of offense down the stretch. Deep in, and Carmelo might be close to hitting the panic button. Drives them down with a vertebraker. That could have been it right there. Boom. Able to reverse that one. A running hurricane rock. Solid punch. Knees, feet, face. That's gotta be it. Two count. Got it. Survive. The triple threat match. Here is your winner, Carmelo Hayes. What a tremendous effort from all three superstars involved in this hard hitting triple threat. Yeah, it may sound cliche, but you have to keep your head on a swivel in a match like this. And our winner did just that. WWE Universe God Mode has just been engaged. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Bloodline from Pensacola, Florida. Weighing in at 265 pounds, the World Heavyweight Champion. 
the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Roman Reigns. Three plus years at the top of WWE for this man. Nobody has been able to defeat the Tribal Chief. A reign of epic proportions. Dozens have tried. Dozens have failed. Think about this. Hall of Famers, main eventers, crossover stars. None of them have been able to defeat Roman Reigns. I'd say it's about high time for a little British strong style. And his opponent from Dudley, England, weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates! Well, Bates made a real name for himself on both sides of the Atlantic. A founding member of NXT UK and now a fixture in NXT in the U.S. Now, do yourself a favor and look up his NXT UK Championship battles against the likes of Gunther and Butch. Some of the best matches in NXT history. Bate has run the show in every form of NXT, but still has much to prove in all of WWE. Few competitors can match Bate's in-ring fundamentals. Indeed, a guy who knows his game inside and out. Tyler Bate can keep it high class in textbook or get down and dirty. Tyler Bate calls himself the big strong boy despite his size. Gets the message across. Bate exceeds all expectations as a much bigger threat than he may appear to be. Yeah, Bate may be built like a cruiserweight, but he balances the scales with his unorthodox in-ring style and surprising power. He packs a deceptively strong punch. Bate is hoping those impressive ring skills will help him get the win here in this one. And he'll be facing the hand-picked leader of the legendary Anawahi bloodline, Roman Reigns. Hand-picked but fully earned, Saxton. Roman knows he has to fight for his whole family. He knows he's their greatest hope, which is why he'll do anything and everything to protect his and his family's legacy. Roman Reigns is so gifted as a striker, I think that might be his surest bet tonight. Wouldn't you agree, Corey? That and then some. Reigns has some heavy hands and the ability to go the distance. He needs to drag this thing out and wear him down. Big impact. Arm ringer applied. Arm ringer finger snap. An old school tactic that is as effective as ever. Rocked by the clothesline. Out of nowhere. And he's taking this to the outside now. Reigns has his opponent in a fireman's carry and switches into a flapjack. Oh, that hurt right to the kidney. Golly. The damage he's taken is starting to pile up. We are European uppercut. Yeah. Uncorks it, uppercut. Uh, Tyler Bate with a standing shooting star. Sometimes you just gotta show off and show out. Just kicking out at one takes a lot in a match like this. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. No, 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 that'll break his arm. Vicious. Reigns can't yield any attack coming his way. Yeah, Bate is appearing unstoppable. Perched up top. Blimey knee drop. Can he score the pin? The referee's attention diverted here. They need to get their head in the game. Kick out close to three. Very close. The T clearly set again. Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. Reversal. Reigns is going to look to press on the advantage. Reigns isn't allowing that burst of attacks to throw him off his game. Into the corner now. 
trapped in the corner. And the Tribal Chief being met with hostility there. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. Perched up top. Diving knee drop. This could do it. And he fights it off. Somehow, some way, he is still in this. No. Oh, my God. oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. What a forearm. He's going for the pin. This could be it. And a kick out at two. Now is not the time to wallow in disbelief. Pressure must be kept on. That's how you wear down your opponent. Crank in the head. Oh, no. Trapping the arm. A vicious stomps to the hand. Vicious right forearm. He's got him scouted. Close line. Vicious knee. Bait cuts him off. Back elbow smash. Nothing fancy. That holds back Bates' attack. Sidewalk slam. He's expressing pain now. There is no way this can go on for much longer. Sure by Reigns. Wow, Reigns nailed it. Two. Uh, he's exhausted after what was a really tough match. And now look at this. Look at this mess. Looks like this superstar wants a piece of him. These two may go right now. No fear in the face of competition. Superstar is going to maybe shake hands to start things here. Oh, it's good to see you. It's good to start off a match with some good sportsmanship. Uh, oh, it's even better to start a match with a little disrespect. That's not right. These two can't stand one another. I can't wait to see them throw hands. Well, here we go. We shouldn't expect a friendly bit of competition between these superstars in this one. The thing about this is these superstars don't just dislike each other. They don't respect each other. Well, in this business, you have to earn your respect. If a handshake doesn't work, maybe a little beatdown will. Strong counter from Punk. Ah, look at this. The arm absorbing the damage. Oh, he's got him by the leg. The foot DDT. He's returning fire. Power slam. That move had the amount of force akin to a natural disaster. Corey, any words of wisdom for LA Knight? How could he get the advantage here in this match? You know what, Cole? LA Knight might have the body of a Hollywood star, but I can assure you that he knows how to use it. From the top, missile drop kick. 
And that can end up putting CM Punk on shaky legs for a bit. Taking on some offense, but he expected as much. Has him up for the power slam. Counter into an inverted DDT. And an elbow. Uh-oh. Power slam. Great counter, impressive ring IQ on display there. Catching a drop kick. What are we about to see? Practically never ending blows coming at full force here. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Never mind what you're doing. Make the count. No, he pops the shoulder before three. The end was in sight. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. Yeah, Cole, at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Momentum moving toward Knight's corner. LA Knight is just unleashing his full strength right about now, using his athleticism to get the... On the top. Top one down. He's got him down. And frustration might be starting to set in. He moves just in time. He went right into that turnbuckle. Oh! Short on clothesline by Punk. And Punk gets countered there. Drop. Oh, no, it's roll up. He kicks out with authority, keeping a loss at bay. Oh, man. Power slam. Just one step ahead. Power slam. Piercing. Debilitating attack on the leg. Ooh, well measured. We're gonna wear down their opponent. Oh, with the heel hook stretch. He should have known that wasn't enough. Oh, what a kick! Springboard! Springboard! Close line! Oh, what a close line! He can't take any more! Wait, 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 wait! Kicks out. I mean, you gotta think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. This could do it! This is going to come down to who wants it more. Close line. Knight is fixed on him now. LA Knight kicked to the gut with BFT. LA Knight with a big time move. with a chip on their shoulder with something to prove and they just delivered. Congratulations. This is definitely one of those wins that counts as making a statement. You can't just disrespect me and expect to get away with it.
It certainly does, Byron, and I can't imagine a more emphatic statement right about now.